Do you look like a marathon runner or a swimmer? Would you describe yourself as long and lean? Do you find it hard to gain muscle? Well, if the answer is yes to your questions, then you're definitely an ectomorph body type person. Hello everybody, my name is Tani Chira and today I'm going to be talking about how to eat and how to work out as an ectomorph body type person. Stay tuned. <laughs> Models that grace most covers and pages of fashion magazines tend to be ectomorph body type people. In addition to being tall, they have a very skinny build with uh, flat chest and also like uh, thin bones and joints and don't have much junk in their trunk. But even though they appear skinny, they may have a high amount of body fat than one might expect. Ectomorphs often find it difficult to put on muscle mass due to the fact that their metabolism has got a tendency to run higher than other body types. In the fitness world, we often refer to such people as hard gainers. Having said that, let's now talk about diet and metabolism. Ectomorph body type people are people that have got high metabolism, as I mentioned earlier on, and this is both a blessing and a curse. What do I mean? You know, our metabolism that's high uh, actually makes it easier for one to get lean, and it also makes such people seem as if they can eat whatever they want without gaining any weight. However, with age, the rate of metabolism tends to slow down and this is primarily due to the fact that there is low body mass and this can result into an unhealthy situation where one tends to build on excessive uh, body fat. The best diet for an ectomorph body type person is one that is high in carbohydrates and calories. Approximately 50 to 60 calories should come from uh, carbs and also 25% from protein and the other 25% from fat. There are also several nutritional tips that can be added to this like eating every two to four hours and also adding at least 500 calories if at all your goal is to gain weight or gain muscle and also prioritizing warm foods over cold foods which are best for digestion. The best starchy carbohydrates include oats, brown rice, sweet potatoes, and Irish potatoes, amongst many others. The best fruit choices include bananas, mangoes, pineapples, papaya, avocado, and peaches. The best vegetable choices include broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, beets, and carrots, especially when cooked in coconut oil or clarified butter. You might as well consider adding on nutrient-dense snacks like nuts and seeds and also nut butters. The goal here is to still eat a healthy and balanced diet which is rich in nutrients. Just because you're an ectomorph body type person, that doesn't come as an excuse as to why you should eat anything and everything including junk foods. The next thing under nutrition that I'm going to talk about is pre and post workout nutrition. About 30 to 60 minutes before a workout session, make sure to drink or eat a fast digestion carbohydrate and some protein such as fruit or toast with almond butter and jam. These nutrients will help keep you energized throughout your workout session and don't forget to hydrate both before and during your workouts. If your workout session lasts less than 60 minutes, do well to hydrate with water. But if it lasts longer than 60 minutes, try considering adding um, a protein shake or a fast digestion carb as this will help keep your energy level on point throughout your workout session. And as for your post-workout meal, make sure to have it 30 or 60 minutes after your workout. The ideal post-workout meal uh, consists of a ratio of about 3 to 1 to 4 to 1 of carbs to protein to help quickly replenish your glycogen stores and repair and build more muscle fibers. Now that we've talked much on nutrition, let's now talk about fitness goals. Ectomorphs are disadvantaged when it comes to building muscle and sculpting the body. But nevertheless, the goal of toning, sculpting, and adding muscle mass to a thin body frame can be achieved by getting on a dedicated training program and nutrition program. All ectomorphs, whether the goal is to become a bodybuilder or just have a healthy, lean, and strong body, can definitely benefit from a solid, consistent um, weight training program. Ectomorphs often excel when it comes to endurance type of activities or exercises and therefore it's not any surprise that they prefer cardio exercises over weightlifting. But even so, the key to stimulate muscle growth is to do a minimal amount of cardio just for the required general health. Two to three times or days in a week is enough and highly recommended. Alright, let's talk about weight training. To build muscle, increase strength, and sculpt the body, 
A simple weight training routine is highly recommended by using heavy weights for an ectomorph. The focus should be using heavier weights to complete about 3 to 5 sets with reps approximately of about 8 to 12 on each muscle group. If only that can be done, then you as an ectomorph body type person are good to go from there. With a good diet plan and a workout routine, definitely even you as an ectomorph body type person have the ability to build on a decent look and a very great physique. That was all I had for you guys today. Uh, thank you very much for having watched this video. And if at all you're new to the YouTube channel, please do all to like this video, share, and also subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you don't have to miss on other stuff that I have to share with you. And uh, thank you once again for the support. Until next time.